The next grammar point is progressive constructions. These constructions are very similar to the one we took in the previous grammar point, the continuative constructions. The translation of the progressive construction is to go on doing something. For example, dekhta jana, to go on watching. Bolta jana, to go on talking. Chalta jana, to go on walking. In these constructions too, the habitual or the imperfective participle is used, such as dekhta, chalta, bolta. The habitual participle changes according to number and gender of the subject. For example, ladki bolti gai, the girl went on speaking, the girl kept speaking. Ladke bolte gai, the boys went on speaking, the boys kept speaking. In the first example, ladki is feminine, the habitual participle will take feminine form, bolti. Ladki bolti gai, the girl kept speaking. The second example has the subject ladke, a masculine plural subject. The habitual participle will take the masculine plural form, bolte. Ladke bolte gai, the boys went on speaking, the boys kept speaking. Let's take some examples. Jab se ne shahar mein aaya hun, mera duk bardta hi ja raha hai. I have been getting sadder and sadder. The literal translation is my unhappiness is keep on increasing since I came to the city. So the part keep on increasing is bardta hi ja raha hai. Next example, dekhte jao, aage kya hota hai? Keep on watching what happens next. Dekhte jao, keep on watching or go on watching. Ye kitab bahut dilchasp hai, mai ise padta hi gaya. The book is very interesting, I went on reading. The part I went on reading is mai ise padta hi gaya. As I said, the construction is very similar to the one we learned before, the continuative construction, and they are often interchangeable.